Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, we are going to show you how to make a 3D program manually uh, in Step Automation Controller without importing any DXF or step file. In our main menu, click on the Programs button. Here we can see all programs saved inside our controller. Um, when creating a new uh, program, please choose uh, from the type drop down menu as 3D, then uh, give a proper name uh, which is related with your part, and after that, click OK. Now we have uh, the basic data related with our part. Uh, we can give the thickness, uh, the resistance of the material which is the tensile strength. Here you can choose different type of materials. Uh, if you want to give auto correction or not, choose it and mute point you can define here. Again from the main menu, click on the editor button and here we are going to make our part, create our part. Click on the face button and insert new face. Here you are going to give the dimensions of your base, which is length and width, whatever it is. Uh, and if the dimension is external or internal, you can choose it from there. Um, click on the on the face which you want to create another face. Uh, then again, give the length of it, and also the angle. So on these on this short video, in this short video, we are going to make a kind of basic part uh, with, with some different angles. Uh, so it's a kind of tray. The good thing with all uh, step automation controllers is uh, they are very user friendly. It doesn't matter which controller your operator was using before, whatever the brand was, uh, it is very easy to, how can I say, to shift into our uh, user friendly controllers. Um, it's, it's easy like using, using a, a mobile phone basically so uh, right now we are creating the the final two uh, two bends so just give the give the length uh, and give the angle depending on oh, as you see uh, I've entered the the angle incorrectly so uh, I can delete this face and create again I here, after creating a new face, inserting a new face, the angle should be calculated from the surface you selected. Okay, so it is 135 degree. Uh, now the the final bend. I'm choosing the the edge where I'm going to insert the face. Again, the length and the angle. For the new face to be added, okay. Now our our part, our test part is finished. You can turn it in any angle if you want to view uh, any position. This makes everything uh, easily understandable. Uh, and after that, we go to our main menu because we finished our drawing. Uh, here, we are going to choose the tool up page. Click on the tool up button. And now, this view is, is from the, the previous program. So, we are going to start from scratch. I'm going to delete all. So the first thing you need to enter is the uh, the punch holders. So insert the punch holders because as they are Promicom type on this machine. So add them multiply. Uh, so they are positioned. Uh, in this controller we have uh, a feature to choose the tools automatically from uh, the tools you have uh, which are already saved inside your controller. Uh, on this test bend uh, we have these tools and uh, controller is advising us uh, to use the stop and uh, bottom tool. So these are the tools saved inside the controller. Um, 
click OK. Um, this is the top tool. So you have uh, different choices which you can uh, play with it. We can get into details maybe in another video. Uh, so you generate stations now. Uh, the controller automatically advised us to use these tools on these positions. If there is any horn, yes, we have horns on top. Uh, actually, for for this part, we don't need the horn, but horn makes it easy uh, to handle. Now we have some warnings, which um, is is because of uh, the bottom tool isn't uh, suitable in terms of width. But I will uh, overwrite that. Uh, I'm not going to create a suitable tool for that for now. Uh, now here I can, I'm going to choose the bending sequence manually. Uh, but the, the controller is able to advise us uh, automatically as well. So after choosing the, the bending sequence, I can see all the steps. How uh, should I hold the piece? If I'm happy with it, I can even change uh, the holding position if I want to rotate it or not. Uh, then I'm okay with it. So uh, after that, I'm going to click uh, this capture button to create the details of my report, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Uh, then my program tooling, everything finished. Now I'm, I'm proceeding to bend the part. Okay, so as soon as you, you keep on uh, pushing the, the pedal of the press brake, you will keep on bending your part. Here you can see the simulation of each and every step. Uh, so this machine is with uh, automatic X, R, Z1 and Z2 axis. So your actual machine can be different. So the back gauge movement can be different as well. So now uh, I'm happy with the program up to now. So what I'm going to do uh, in the next or in the final uh, step is I'm going to create a report for the operator because maybe I, as a programmer I've, I've, I've made this, this program either on the, uh, on the machine or on my offline software but I want my operator to have all the information about the part and the tooling etc. So this is the, the report for this uh, product itself. There is a QR code which as an option they can scan automatically and get all the information inside the controller. So we have all the punch holders, their positions, punches, uh, where it's positioned and length. Uh, uh, same information for the dies as well. So and after that on the coming pages we have the details of each and every bending sequence so uh, this report will help the operator to eliminate mistakes